Hi, take two. <laughs> you know, hey everyone. I hope everyone's doing well. This is my second take, but that's okay. Um, I'm Kirsten from Kirsten Red Resale. This is my channel. If you have not been here before, welcome. This is going to be a preview video for stuff that I'll be bringing to my live sale, uh, which will be tomorrow evening, which is Thursday, June 16th, and it'll start at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Um, yeah, I hope everyone's doing well. I hope everyone's had a pretty good week. I've had an okay week. I was having an okay week, and then I had a dental emergency, and then the week got kind of icky, and so I wasn't able to do another video, which is frustrating to me because I don't want to just be doing preview videos and sale video. You know, like, I'm more than that. I really am, guys. But anyway, you got to take care of what you got to take care of, you know? So teeth are important. They really, really are. Oh, you know, I wish my younger self listened to everyone in this world that ever said to me, Kirsten, take care of yourself. It's not going to be the same when you get older. And, you know, when you're younger, you're like, yeah, okay, whatever, whatever. And, oh, they were so right. Not that I have any younger viewers, but if I happen to have any younger viewers, take it from me. Fly, do everything you're supposed to. Um, and even then, even if you do everything that you're supposed to, sometimes it's just your genetics. Unfortunately, that's partially my issue. And um, autoimmune loves, autoimmune issues love to attack your mouth. They sure do. But still, I knock on wood, I still have all my own teeth. But you know, if I one day don't, then <laughs> oh well. Anyway, we're not here to talk about my teeth, are we? I mean, we can, but it's not really a great subject. So, okay, let's get going. Sorry, it's a hundred and something degrees here. I'm so thirsty. So if you hear weird breaks, it's just me. I'm not gonna edit them out. I apologize. I don't have the mojo for that today. Okay, let's get going. So this week, what am I bringing you? I'm bringing you some stuff. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna start with, I don't know. I'm gonna start with something that uh, is amazing. Um, I'm trying to get more history on it. I've gotten some history from the person I got it from, okay? So it is a three-piece set. Okay, this was this girl's grandmother's. Her grandmother was not only a collector, but she also um, ran antique like uh, the anti traveling antique shows. She had something to do with, um, what was it? Uh, gosh, here we go. What's that TV show on BBC? Oh my gosh, Antique Roadshow. Um, like all this stuff, she was like one of the, not the producer. One of the, what I, yeah, producers, one of the money people for it, I guess, for PBS and, you know, helped with the money, the funding and this and that. Anyway, that's who owned this set, okay? Um, I don't know if this was custom made for her or if it is some fancy schmancy incredible designer that is unsigned. I've tried to do research. Unfortunately, I've not been able to find anything to this level of craftsmanship or skill or anything. This is Mother, I mean, Mother of Pearl? Yes, excuse me, a black mother of pearl, whatever you call it. This is actually metal, it's not plastic. A lot of like, um, you'll find like Selro and amazing um, other costume designers. Um, they use a lot of celluloids or, you know, this is not, this is metal. On the, and then you see the back of the shell, it's in there. Um, it is incredible, incredible. So this is the necklace. Um, he is a genie. The bracelet, oh my gosh, guys, look at this. And this is, she said her grandmother had notes, sort of notes with everything, um, like little, not like cue cards, not cue cards. Yeah, not cue cards, little like sticky note type things, but cut, whatever, little piece of paper that said dates on it. And she said this one was marked uh, mid to late 40s. That's all it said on it. It didn't say anything else, but, and it was in the little pouch with it. So she, you know, I don't know if that's, who knows? I don't know, but that's what it came, you know. The only paperwork, or if you want to call it paperwork, that she had for it. Um, and these are the earrings. They are clip-ons. But look at the condition of these. I mean, now that is not, it's a gold under it. So I, I don't know if that's the, I don't want to mess with it. Isn't it remarkable? I mean, it's just, oh my gosh, it's incredible. There's a teeny bit of wear here and there, but hardly anything. I mean, yeah, in 
incredible. Um, the person I got this from is someone I actually used to know. It's been many, 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 many years. Um, you know, so uh, when she reached out to me and said, hey, I have some stuff. That was my grandmother's, blah, 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 blah. I said, well, yeah, let me see. You know, I was thinking, oh, my God, I'm not going to be able to bring anything or afford anything. And I really couldn't afford a whole lot of the stuff. But some of it was semi-affordable <laughs> like this for me to uh, purchase to bring to you guys. Um, yeah, this is one of those you will never, ever have this particular opportunity again. I know people say that, but this is truly the case. I mean, this is probably not 100% sure custom made. Um, yeah, it's really something else. I mean, I understand that you have to love this kind of thing. You know, I totally get that. It is not for everyone, um, but for the people that it is for, this is a really, really great opportunity for you to acquire something that is masterful, unique, just incredible. I know my camera angles are really bad. So here's another look at the necklace. It is, and it is adjustable. I just have it. So it has. Yeah. What a great, great piece. And I'm really honored actually to be able to have, you know, gotten this from her. Anyway. Okay. So we're going to move on. That's one of the pieces I'll be bringing. Um, yeah. Oh, it's so cool. I wish I knew more about it. Now, if I find anything else about it from right now until tomorrow, I will most certainly let you guys know. But that's all I found out is I knew who her grandmother was a little bit, but a little bit more history that she was like an avid collector and had a lot to do with antiques and and getting people to appreciate them. And that's all I really know. I know it sounds horrible. Sorry, guys. OK, what else am I bringing? Woo. <laughs> Um, I have some pretty incredible rings from that artisan um, that I occasionally will buy from. Um, I can't buy too much at a time because it is a bit pricey for me. Um, but the, the thing that I love about them is they're um, high quality stones and they're all adjustable and they're set in sterling silver. So for any of my um, friends here um, who have larger fingers, this can accommodate up to like a size, tw uh, I think it's 11, 11 or so. Um, and it can go down as far as small as like... I don't know, a five, you know? So it's, it's you know, there's a lot of movability. Anyway, this is a Laramar and Rainbow Moonstone in sterling silver. And this is a, I mean, these are substantial rings. These are incredible. She's an artisan out of Alaska. So when I purchase, you know, it takes a while, unless they're already pre-made. But if it's something that she has like a little catalog of, you know, she's got to make them per order. So it takes a little bit of time. But, so I try to do her pre, her ones that she already has made, you know, but, okay, look at this one. The heart, the amethyst, this one is what? It has the mystic topaz, the amethyst, uh, moonstone, yeah, I think those are, I think I covered those bases, yeah. It's also adjustable, set in sterling silver. They're great rings. And you get to take a piece of art home with you, which is the best to me. Oh, this this one's my favorite. This one, not my favorite. This is what I almost kept. That's a, okay, but I'm not showing it. I'm showing it because I do not need it, but it's really, it's gorgeous. Um, the mystic topaz all around the labradorite. Isn't that spectacular? Let's see if I can get back. It's also adjustable. Now, she does coat these in a... Um, what is it called? Hmm. Rhodium finish. Um, I asked her why, because I don't, I personally am not a huge, I mean, it, it goes away. It's sterling silver and then she uh, puts rhodium. She says, cause it keeps it from tarnishing and it stays really silver looking, like really, really bright. So when she's shipping overseas or whatever, I don't know. She like had a whole explanation. Um, I asked her if I ever was to get some custom ones, if she wouldn't do that, because it, that's not my favorite thing. Um, and she said, sure, if it's custom, it's custom, you know. But um, I'm curious, what do you guys think? Does rhodium plating on top of sterling silver bother you, or is it not a big thing to you? Um, on this one, I, it doesn't bother me because this is so full of stone. I don't see the silver, really, you know. Um, I don't know. That's just my thing. I don't know. Maybe I'm just weird. Well, we already know that. We already know I'm a little weird. That's okay. Okay, so those three rings I'll be bringing you. Oh my gosh, have I shown you anything? <laughs> okay, um, I have a bunch of rings. What else do I have for you? Um, hmm. I have opaline, opalite, opal glass, whatever. I, you know, uh, 
yeah, yell at me, do whatever you want, talk, or whatever. I just call it really pretty. Um, these are glass, it is not stone, okay? Um, this is gorgeous. It is, no, I have it all hooked up here, but look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I love how they have the, like, uh, topaz, yellow topaz looking crystals all around it. So pretty. Okay, and let's see here. I have this beautiful, this is a, this is Art Deco. Um, this is blue glass necklace. This is long, like I said, it's unusual. There's no clasp, okay? You see how pretty that is, look at that. Where they're set. Oh, I love it. And it's very long. The blue is just, oh, I love it. Love this piece. I really, it goes down, 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 down. So this is definitely a layering piece. I have it backwards. Sorry, guys. Um, this is a layering piece, obviously. <laughs> My fingerprints. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Gorgeous. So I have this for tomorrow. Let's see. Let me try to. You know, he busts and I these things, we don't like each other. I've really come to that conclusion. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, there we go. Let's see. What am I going to bring you? Um, I have a little bit of Whiting and Davis. I have this really funky um, tie necklace. Tie, I don't know what you call it. It's a, you tie it up, you know, you do what you want with it. It's super long. Oh, you know what? I'm zoomed in. That could be an issue. Oh, wow. Hello, Kirsten. So it's really long. And you just put it around your neck and do what you want with it. Um, it feels incredible. And this one's in amazing condition. I keep looking at different lights to see if I see fading, tarnishing, anything. And I have not yet. Uh, doesn't mean it's not there, but I have not seen. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. This is, I, don't know, I think it's kind of sexy, you know. Um, it might not be the best summery piece because, I don't know, this to me is more of like a evening uh, wintry fall, but you know what? I, I could be totally wrong. You can wear this whenever you want. You know what? I live somewhere where it's so darn hot <laughs> that nothing to me is summery except if you're in your house. Anyway. So, I mean, I just think it's a gorgeous, I mean, it's just, you know, the typical wedding Davis, uh, mesh. You know, now I do not know anything about this piece. I don't know if it's, you know, they have a whole newer line. Um, I have no idea. I don't know if this is part of the new thing, the old thing. I can't imagine it being super old just because of the condition it's in. It's in really amazing condition. Um, yeah, but it's fun. It's fun and it's, you can be any shape, size. You just adjust it, you know, it's great. You can wear it. Yeah, anyway, you can figure out how to wear it. You guys are so smart. Hmm, what am I gonna show next? Well, I do have, you know, Sterling Silver a lot. I only am doing one this time. Um, but this one has some cool things in it. Like I have like lace agate ring in it. And yeah, there's some, cool stuff in that one. Um, I am bringing a bunch of costume jewelry. Now, tomorrow I'm going to have a lot of costume jewelry. I do have sterling put aside, but last week you guys did not seem interested in sterling at all. So I do have it. Um, so if, if you are wanting to see it, just let me know. Please don't feel, you know, shy or intimidated or that you're going to upset someone or no, not at all. Not at all. I buy this stuff for all of you. Okay. Um, so if you want to see something, you know, I might not have specifically what you're asking, but you know, if you're like, okay, Kirsten, do you have anything that's not, you know, whatever, you know, it, you know, costume or, yeah, just let me know. Not a big deal at all. Okay. I will help you out. Let's see here. Um, I have some brooches. I don't know when my all my stuff's coming in. This has been a I'm off my I'm off my schedule, guys. I don't know what's up with me. Like I'm just not ordering in the right amount of time for things to get here when they should. It doesn't seem like a lot of things are I don't know coming weird times. Okay, this is this is incredible. This was one of my pieces. I never I well when I say my pieces, I bought it with the intention for me to have it to wear it. Um, I got it and put it right in a little sack and in a drawer and have never pulled it out. Well, that's not true. I look at it occasionally, but I've never worn it. Um, this is old. This is sterling silver and porcelain, porcelain panels. Was that fuzzies on there? Yeah, there might be some fuzzies from cotton. Sorry guys, let's see. Anyway, um, 
Let me see if I can zoom in and we can get the, the little scenery. So they alternate. Oh, and here's a different scene. So in Sterling, so this is old, old. It has a mark there. It does have the safety still. Um, let's see, let me open this up. It was fantastic case. I mean, well, I thought it was just incredible. Um, I'm very hard on my jewelry, so I'm afraid that sometimes, you know, something that might be too delicate for me, I, I'm afraid. Not that this is a super delicate piece, but because it's so old, I don't know. And <laughs> I don't know. I treat things very preciously, which, you know, is fine to a point, but jewelry is meant to be worn and loved. And if it gets a little beat up, so be it, you know, I guess. So anyway, this is just incredible. So since... I will not wear it because I'm afraid to wear it, <laughs> and it's just sitting around. Um, I wanted you guys to have this opportunity. Look how the construction of it is insane. Look at that. So cool. Okay, so this will be here tomorrow. Let me put it back in its little... I felt something weird on here. Where is it? Okay, that's really here. Um, what else? What else should we show you? Lovely, lovely people. Okay, so hmm, I really don't know. Okay, so I, you know, I have some fun stuff. We have like this copper uh, with the what is that? It's enamel um, and some sort of glaze, like a crackle. At first, I thought it was cracked because I was like, "Is this cracked? Oh my gosh, it's not. It's." It's intentional. It's like a, it's a crackling effect. I don't know how to do this. I know how to do a lot of things. I don't know how to do this type of enamel or anything. So like, you see how it goes like this and then they go off to the sides like that. So this is an intention, uh, intentional. Um, look at the card. So I love it. I put it on the torque. Um, they had it on just like a cord and I, I'm not a huge cord gal. So um, if you want me to put it on a cord, I'll send you a cord with it. But I think it looks really great on this. Anyway, what a fun piece. The colors are spectacular. And I know there are collectors out here who collect these uh, vintage copper enameled glazed things. And this is a nice, look how big that size is, a uh, pendant. Very nice size. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And I have like, you know, like the you know, wedding cake bead things. Like, you know, I always try to bring a little bit of everything for different, different strokes for different folks. This is an older piece. That will be half. And let's see, I have some coral brooches, cinnabar, what else? A lot of sterling still. Um, I do have a quartz, I mean, a, a crystal, quartz crystal necklace, but I'm not, I don't like the way that she did one of the ties on it, the threading, the whatever. Um, and I didn't realize that when I purchased it, so I have to trim it up, but I'll show it to you anyway. I mean, okay, so. Look at these awesome guys. And this one has the black silk threading, which I wasn't sure about at first, but then I was like, okay, I like it. I do. It gives it dimension. It changes it up from the typical, oh, yeah, another quartz crystal ball necklace, yeah, you know. Um, yeah, but, but that being said, look, she didn't do something good. So I'm going to have to trim it up, and I don't want to screw it up, you know, so... I'm not sure if I cut that. I don't know what, I don't know. I don't know what happened here. So I have to figure that out. But um, I could sell it as is and I'll have to knock down the price and you can, I mean, it's tied off really good there and there. I just don't know why she didn't trim up the extra. And yeah, so anyway, so I have this guy. Now I do have some stuff like I, you know, like silly fun stuff, but I don't know. I'm just gonna show it because it's silly and fun and who doesn't like a silly and fun charm bracelet? Look, like, like little, so silly. Little purses, they're not that little actually. They're kind of big on a charm bracelet. I think it's funny and it's, you know, has a different lengths there. So it could be for different sizes. Kind of like it, kind of like it a lot. I think they're supposed to be little des different designer purses. I don't know. I thought it was adorable. 
just a fun piece. Yeah, look at that. Isn't that sweet? It's a great condition, no wear to it whatsoever. So I don't see a maker's mark. It's okay, it's not about that. It's just about having fun. Just about having fun. Yep, so this will be here. Um, yeah, I mean, I do have some blingy bling. Mm-hmm, I did not a lot. Well, hmm. It depends what you think bling bling is. I have this fantastic, I love this. It's, I don't know if I brought this once before and it didn't sell and that kind of, is this the one? I don't know, it doesn't matter. I have this incredible bracelet. Yeah. Oh, I can't see. So, yeah, right. well, open, please. Let's see if I can even get it open. Yeah, I got it. Okay, so it's made really well. Um, it is costume, obviously. I say that because my husband, who helps me on Thursdays, if you haven't been here yet, he's always like, is it costume? Is it not? I'm like, can you look at it, please? Does this look like it's not costume jewelry? Come on. But look at it. All the AV. Oh, I love this piece. How much fun is that? It's a great piece. Fun, fun. So I'm bringing it. I'm bringing it. I am. If I could ever get it off. Oh, don't use your teeth, Kirsten. Maybe that's one of your problems. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. Well, it might be stuck on me for right now. I'll have to get someone to get it off me. Oh, no, I got it. I got it, guys. Don't worry. I got it. Okay. And then I got, I'll show you one more bracelet. Oh, is it Ju Judith Lee? Is that? Hmm, I'm spacing out on the lady's name. I've had one before, but it wasn't Judith Lee. It was someone else. All right. So I've got this guy. I love this. So beautiful. Just, just one of those things. One of the things I really love. I love the iridescence of it all and how it just changes with every different light, every movement. The blues, greens, purples, pinks. Look at that orange, yellow. Just everything. It's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I think it's Judith Lee. Oh my gosh. Okay, someone help me down below. I'll have to figure it out again. <laughs> it came, you know, when I buy it, it tells me who it is, and then I have to make sure it's who they say it is, and it's a thing. Anyway, this this is my little preview. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Um, once again, let me fix the camera view a little bit. Maybe just a little. Anyway, um, this is Kirsten from Kirsten Red Resale, and I hope to see everyone here tomorrow evening, which um, is what? That will be Thursday, June 16th at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And if you've yet not subscribed, please do. It is free. Yay. Nothing in life is free, but this is kind of free, I have to tell you. Except maybe uh, your internet you have to pay for or something, you know. Anyway, uh, if you could give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Either way, it helps channel out. It really does. Okay, well, I'm going to give you my little virtual hugs. I'm going to go take some ibuprofen for my mouth. And I'm going to go chill out. I hope everyone has a fantastic day. And I look forward to seeing everyone tomorrow evening. Bye-bye.